Far left Democrats marching from the U.S. House to the U.S. Senate yesterday, just moments before Senator Joe Manchin joined all 50 Republicans to tank a bill that would codify or codify, excuse me, abortion rights in all 50 states, Roe versus Wade. The bill was expected to fail, but it was supposed to give Democrats a chance to showcase their support for abortion rights ahead of the midterm elections. Even Vice President Kamala Harris showed up to the Capitol to preside over the vote, and she wasted no time in finding fault on who to blame. This vote clearly suggests that the Senate is not where the majority of Americans are on this issue. It also makes clear that a priority for all who care about this issue, a priority should be to elect pro-choice leaders at the local, the state, and the federal level. Because what we are seeing around this country are extremist Republican leaders who are seeking to criminalize and punish women from making decisions about their own body. So, David, she has 180 days until the midterm elections to learn this one fact. They needed a supermajority yesterday to get yes. that done, 60 votes. It didn't come down to one senator or two senators. No, it didn't. But what they're doing is they're she trying to... She knows that, bargain. right? Or yeah, does they... she not know that? Well, you know what? i got to tell you, her incompetence is on display in so many <laughs> ways. And I don't want to say that about the vice president of the United States, but it's been that way since she was an attorney general. I know litigators that have fought her in court. She is not capable. But as the president of the Senate, don't you know what? So if you do know, what is it? You have to marginalize Joe Manchin and any Democrat who dares to step out of the progressive line. Fun fact for Democrats, and I wrote about this in my article this week in The Hill, that as they age out the old leadership, the younger progressives, the working family party supported democratic socialism. People America, who use baby America, formula. Are now growing into the party. Well, maybe the birthing persons, too. And they're growing into the party because they know they're pushing out the old leadership. Mm. Harris is 60. She will be there for a while. She's playing to the young younger progressives, because the older ones, look, we're all going to pass on someday, and they know that, and that's the reality. The Democrats are being aged out and aged into a progressive leftist socialist party even more. Tammy. Well, I would say that this is their problem, though, is that we are not aging into being socialists. And when I see these women marching down that hallway in Congress chanting a, a, a chant that was going on when I was organizing the left in the 80s, it's like, move on, ladies, move on. The vice president is a woman of color. The speaker of the house is a woman. A woman runs this network. A woman runs Fox Business. Look at this program. We are adults now. We have children who have their own children. We have won this fight for power and influence. It's not perfect. We will always be fighting for it. It's like love. You always kind of have to search for it. You never get it exactly, you. but you always work, work, work. But we are here. We have power. We have money, unless, of course, the Democrats remain in power. And they rely on, <laughs> if that vote had worked, Kamala Harris would not have been able to have said, vote for pro-choicers. They never change it, because when I was on the left, it was the only fundraiser. It was the only way that we could get ah. money in. It was the only way that you would get certain people elected. And now we know it's the 21st century. We know there's, there are multiple methods of birth, birth control. I'm an unplanned pregnancy. I'm the result of an affair. My father left before I was born. He left a packet of money for her to go to Mexico to get an abortion. She chose it to buy baby things for me and had me, and I'm grateful. Oh, God. Those things, though, are about money and access. Not a million dollars, but enough to live your life, to buy baby food, to have it shipped to you. This is why the economy matters. They have failed every single woman with this economy and with the way they behave. It is the 21st century. We don't believe them anymore. And this is, women know, abortion's not going to be illegal and it's, it, we're tired of being used and manipulated. That, that was brilliant, though. You hit at least one nail on the head in this sense. Why didn't they do it back in the day? And by the way, you look fabulous, ageless. <laughs> um, but when they were still chanting the same things in the streets, why didn't they codify Roe versus Wade? Why didn't they do that across at least a lot of blue states? New Jersey's well, never, done it they just don't recently. Want to do it. Other too, states too are like hopping to do it now in, in case it becomes a federal law that Democrats enact, so on and so forth. But when you talk about that was their number one fundraising, 
That's it. It comes down to that. David, I know you're trumping. Uh, I got to tell you, the Democrats don't deliver because the argument ends if they actually deliver. On immigration, they didn't give illegal aliens amnesty when they had the supermajorities. They've been promising all these things and never delivering. By the way, look at this couch for all of America, all right? A gay woman, a black woman, a black man, and two Italian. I'll go with that in part because of Campania. <laughs> Kaylee, we've known each other a He's long a time. A yeah. princess. <laughs> a princess. A princess. A manga mega princess. Thanks. But, but look yeah. at this. And then if we could turn the cameras around and look at who's working this oh, show we got everybody and who Fox. works in this network. What do you see? You see a cross section of America that has literally evolved while the Democrats have not evolved. And that, Tammy, That's is, why I we believe, frighten is them. your point. That's why we frighten them. Because we, we, we represent We're actually the, diverse. The, the cross, also the spectrum of the nature of what we think of the world. All right, yeah. Emily. I just I think that's such a fascinating point that the legislation that has been passed around this country is actually like what we saw uh, coming out of states that just that was the reason why this draft was leaked, which is actually preventing for example, late-term abortions and the like. We haven't seen legislation that represents allegedly that of the far left and the progressives, because to your point, then what would they have, what would the fight so be about? So true. Right? Yeah. Then all of a sudden, if the accomplishment has been completed, what left is there for them to do but be absolutely bombastic like they are now? And let's look at a tweet for, uh, for a moment from the AP, which is who they blame in addition to our vice president, right? It's because of a GOP-led filibuster to your point, Harris, apparently civics, civic uh, history, whatever, has zero bearing on this equation. Yeah, that was Elizabeth Facts Warren zero saying zero bearing. So, exactly. Yeah. The responses to her tweet, by the way, were hysterical. They were like, is she drunk? Because last time we checked, they just <laughs> lost. They well, lost. It was not. She might be drunk go power. to 49. I, I, I don't want to accuse her of anything else, but she, she had a beer in the kitchen with the dog. Yeah, she, right? yeah. Yeah. I think I do remember. Yeah, wrong person to send if you want to get Joe Manchin. It was not a filibuster to your point. Kamala Harris went on his airwaves in Virginia and trashed him. So wrong person to send if you want to get him on your side. One point is worth making. 49 Democrats voted for this yesterday. It is not codifying Roe v. Wade. I know that's the colloquial way to say it. It's not that. This allows abortion, abortion until the moment of birth. They have this really liberal language that allows if a doctor deems it's in the interest of the mother for her health, mental health maybe, um, for her familiar, familial how interest, feels. how she feels, you can have abortion until the moment of birth. That is not Roe v. Wade, but 49 Democrats, if you're a mom out there and you're 10 months pregnant and you feel that baby and you see your stomach distorted as a baby punches and kicks and hiccups, that baby can be murdered, and 49 Democrats voted for that until the moment it's of the birth. Ralph I, I, know, I know we have party. to run, but can I just add one final point on this? We are one of seven nations in the world that allows late-term abortions. All right. America yes. is the outlier on this issue. With North Korea to the rest and China. Of the world. Yay. <laughs> wow. Okay, we'll move on.